Hello, welcome in lab 40L4. We'll speak in this lab about DSP kits and how to have some program in MATLAB, for example, some kind of filters, and how to download this filter to the DSP kit. We'll split our uh, we'll split what we'll speak about now into two videos. The first video, how to use this DSP kit. The second video, why we did follow these steps. You'll find in if you open your uh, computer, you'll find in the Y drive <coughs> our folder, which is 40L4 folder. You'll find <coughs> a PDF called Configuring Code Composer as Code Composer 5. Okay, so we'll have some steps here that we want to follow to make the Code Composer Studio program the DSP kit as, as we wish. Okay, so first of all, I'll try to close everything so starting from the beginning okay so this is the Y drive you know this is the code composer studio version 5 <coughs> what I will show now is how to use this code composer to download a code <coughs> which is called path through code into the DSP and make sure it is working correctly the second video will explain why we made these steps okay so we'll start with new project just an empty new project, we'll just name it anything. Test, for example, four. We need to specify the kind of DSP processor we are, we are working on. So it is a class C6000. It is a variant C671 floating point. It is 713. We'll use the connection USB emulator and we'll choose empty project and we'll add our files later on. Just <coughs> make sure that the Project Explorer is view Project Explorer here. So we are using now test four. Right click and add our files. In, in the same folder of 40L4, you will find a folder called path through. We will take all this file, open them. I will copy them in the project. So they are now a part of the project, path through to C and the vector interrupt.assembly. Okay, this project we want to make some some to make some modifications of the properties to make it to make the code ready to be downloaded to our specific DSP board and our specific DSP processor. Okay, so <coughs> we'll now go back to the PDF, configure code composer studio five for use with our DSP kit. In the first time, if you are opening. This code composer for the first time, it will ask you about the workspace. Please make it Z workspace and use this default and don't ask again and use the free license option. This is for the first time only. After that, it will not bother you again. Create the C project, CCS project container. That's what I have done now. C6000, C671X floating point, and this is 713, and this is the connection, and we choose empty project. Adding the source code, we have already done this. We want now to specify compiler include locations and the linker equations. Okay, so we go to properties, we go to the compiler menu, select include options and add this URL. So I'll copy this URL, control C, and go here. That's the compiler include options and paste this URL here. There is another URL. Just copy, come here, add this one, paste. Okay, this is the compiler include options. There is also the linker locations. We have more two links. So we go the linker location, file search, search path. Okay, this is the linker, file search path, add the URL. Come here and copy the second URL. Okay. And we, <coughs> part six, we need to specify the memory model. So we we'll go compiler, advanced option, runtime model, and make this the, the, the memory model to be far. Advanced options, runtime model, far. Far. 
then we'll suppress some warning here. This is just warning suppression. We'll go linker, advanced options, diagnostics. Linker, advanced options, diagnostics, suppress diagnostic, this one. We are ready now to build and run the project. So we'll pull the project menu and build all. Okay. Build all. If you have some error, it should appear now. If we don't, then we are ready to, to download the file to the DSP. Build finished, there is no errors here or problems. There is no problems here, so the file is ready to be downloaded. We go to the run, uh, to the run menu and select debug. Since our problem is just very simple, the debug mode just makes the cursor at the beginning of the file. We just make it run. Just use resume or run to make it the program is now running. So what is our program which is called path through? What does this program do? The program, if we look here <coughs> at our oscilloscope, we have wave generation on. This is the wave generation. It is waveform sinusoidal, two kilohertz, one volt peak to peak with zero offset. This is the yellow one. This is the signal waveform generation. It's it's taken to the DSP and another another version from the same signal to channel one. So this is channel one. This is sinusoidal. It is going to the input of the DSP kit. The output of the DSP kit is connected to channel two. The path through program does nothing. Just it samples the analog signal, transfer it to the digital signal, takes the same digital signal back to an analog signal. So we have a sinusoidal input, we have sinusoidal output. You may notice that the two signals are not to the same scale. The point is that analog to digital converter and con digital to analog converters have scales in their design. They don't take the signal and output it as it is. No, they make some certain scales. And anyone working with digital to analog converter or analog to digital converter must make sure that he know what is the value of this scale. It is not just one to one. No, there is some scaling here because when you convert from analog to digital, you have finite number of bits. So if you have finite number of bits, then you have finite range. You have It's not infinite, it's finite range. So all the input is scaled and the output is scaled version of the input. Okay, if you have this output now, then you are sure that your DSP kit, your program, you, you have all the structure is working correctly. You are ready to use your own filters. Now everything is correct. You are ready to use your own filters. That's, that's what we want from you in the lab. In the second video, I'll explain why we did make these steps. Thank you.